everyone, I'm Hayley from Black Mountain Photography and I'm here to do a review on the two Satina mask for Mike's Dice Draw. So the two Satina mask is this one right here and I'm going to talk to you about the key features and also um, about using it whilst scuba diving here in Mauritius. So some of the key features um, are the use of Tusa's Freedom Technology which is all about um, really comfortable fit and quality performance. Um, which this mask um, has. It's also got the 3D strap. Um, it's got the rounded edge silicon as well, which is for the comfortable um, features, um, making it really easy to wear. Um, and also reduces the amount of pressure on the face. Um, as we all know, we can end up with mask face. Um, so that's really good. Um, it's also got a quick adjustable buckle system, as most um, of the masks coming out now do have, but really, really great features. Um, this mask is targeted at the female um, user um, with um, some added bling on the front with the little gemstones here on the, um, on, on the screen and then also um, the feature on the side which is um, detachable and um, interchangeable gems that you can choose so they have a selection of different ones that you could add on or take away. Um, it comes in a variety of colours, so you've got um, the blue and it comes in a pink and a purple quartz as well as the black, um, so a black mask and black, black strap, um, so four colours which is, um, which is good. There's also um, design on the, the main um, screen here at the front, so you can just see that it's got some added features um, on there. So wearing the mask itself um, it's really, really good snug fit um, for my face in particular. It's quite a small um, mask, but the silicone is really flexible. So um, we did actually um, lend it to one of our friends who um, is male and he found it really comfortable to wear as well. Because of the um, silicone skirt, it didn't actually um, cause any problems with um, his stubble or his um, facial hair. So he actually found it really comfortable probably less keen on the gems and the um, and the more girly features but he was pretty impressed with the um, with the quality of the mask on the dive so um, wearing it itself um, my favorite feature of the mask is actually the um, the nose so the silicon on the nose is really soft so something that I struggle with underwater um, is that the nose piece fills up with water um, and I found this on a number of masks and it can be really frustrating because then you're constantly trying to flush out the water. I didn't have that problem with this mask. Um, and I think because the skirt at the back comes quite low down, it means that the water then doesn't come through. But it's really, e really easy to equalise because that is really soft um, silicon. Um, and it feels more comfortable um, because you don't have the pressure um, that a more solid silicon would, would provide. So um, the clear silicon around the edges um, gives you good peripheral vision and lets the light come in and it does um, give you a, more, a better feeling of openness, um, less constricted, less tunnel vision. So a really good feature um, of, of the Tusa. Um, I also found that even brand new mask, um, we did the usual um, scrubbing of the um, of plastic to try and kind of um, avoid the fogging but no issues there it didn't fog up once um, and it was really easy to clear um, and I think because the, the silicon is so flexible actually when you do flush out um, the water it does it really easily and um, without too much trouble so yeah I think um, thumbs up for Tusa um, but would like to see how it evolves and some of the other masks in their range that have the same features um, such as the 3D mask, the silicon and the freedom technology. So I think for me, it will be exploring their range a bit more. So, thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.